Today is Saturday, September the 28th. This is our second heavy frost day in the past two weeks. The grass is all frosty. Trees are all frosty. And you can see the leaves have all turned yellow everywhere from the first frost we had. You can really see the frost on this chair here. Today I will be going down to the marina to continue working on a guy's sailboat, rewiring it and putting all new electronics in it. And I'll probably take you with me. And we're down here on Lake Superior in Thunder Bay in the harbor of Lake Superior. That's the city behind me. Part of the city over there looking from the harbor. That blue bridge you see way over there by that white building there. That's the old POC building and that blue bridge sort of deal arch thing. That's a walkway over top of Cumberland Street. It goes over from that the old um, on Cumberland Street from the uh, Royal, not the Royal Eddie, sorry, uh, the um, Prince Arthur Hotel yard. You enter that walkway and it comes over into Marina Park, which is way over there, about five, six hundred yards. That's where they have all the bands playing in the summertime and everything else and all this kind of stuff. I'm down here on a friend's sailboat here, uh, doing some work to it for him, uh, rewiring it all with GEW -E uh, marine grade wire, um, putting all new LED lights in up on the ceiling, and there's two more down the table to go in yet, all new gauges, a GPS. Um, Phenometer, and uh, this is a depth sounder. This here gets glued into the bottom of the hull for uh, for uh, it stays on the inside of the fiberglass of the boat, and you glue it down to the fiberglass. And uh, they're meant for yachts, so you can you can set your alarm to go off. Um, ever how deep down your keel is on a sailboat and you can measure it off the bottom of your keel this boat here's got a five and a half foot keel on it from where I'm standing it's five and a half feet down and we're putting a voltage meter in here which also um, does percentage of the of the amp hour battery so if it's a 500 amp amp hour battery it goes down to 50%. It means that you can't use no more until you charge it up. And we're putting, we put a new uh, onboard marine charger. This is what I put in all the boats that I've ever worked on. I've already installed that. And putting a new marine radio in. You see that right there, the Cobra. Marine. I've always liked this radio because it's got a on this radio it's got a distress it's got a distress thing here you flip this open and you press that button for distress and it automatically sends out your distress signal with your GPS coordinates 
exactly where your location is. This is the only, when I have my shop, this is the only radio, marine radio I stocked. Because, because of that feature, you hit the distress button, you have to, you can't accidentally hit it because you have to open this flap. And, uh, this is GPS right there. And you hit that GPS button and for distress and it sends all the ships, the Coast Guard, everything in the area, your exact uh, coordinates to where you are. There's the uh, charger I put in there. And then we got a 50 amp fuse, resettable fuse right there, which is going to feed is going to feed this new control panel which comes all rewired it's got breakers and everything one of them it's got uh, four uh, 10, amp, uh, 10 amp breakers and four 15 amp breakers in it and it all comes pre-wired on the back all you got to hook up your power and your neutral and uh, spade connectors on the bottom right there to each of your functions that you want it to do and we got a 30 amp shore cord to go in. We're plugging in. We got the 30 amp uh, shore power plug to go on to replace the one that's on the boat. We're changing the panel in the boat. It hasn't come in yet because um, this boat's 50 years old. And uh, we're going to be putting in a Update it so he's got dual US USB ports for charging his phones and stuff in here and uh, Yeah and We got a new antenna there from Shakespeare to go on top of the On top of the mast up there someplace way up there and We got new anchor lights to go up there, but those won't go on until the boat comes out of the water here in a few weeks Put them on because when we take the mask down and I this is a boat I pull out of the water I, I launch in the springtime for him and I take it back out in the fall and that's a sleeping giant you see way out there that's a sleeping giant right out there a big mountain so that's the mess I got going on here more boats parked over there. The main launching and gas facilities and pump out station is over there about oh 300 yards other side of those green evergreens over there. There are people traveling. There's gas there, water, pump out station right here on Lake Superior. Thunder Bay. Where you see that big arch steel beam over there, that's the yacht club. Over there. Condos on the shore. Casino is down right down over that way. Oh, as the, as the crow flies, maybe quarter mile. It's a little breezy. It's about 62 degrees. We had a heavy frost as you seen earlier in the video this morning. Out of my place. That big boat just come in, or, or is he just going out? Oh no, he's tied to the doctor. He's hosing his boat down. <laughs> Got his 
wash pump on, he's hosing his windows off and his deck off. And... Ooh, Canada geese. Season's been open for them for a long time now, since the 15th of September. But you can't shoot them here, we're in the city. <laughs> they fly right over my place, I can shoot them there, but they're usually they're usually too high by the time they get over my place. Yeah, I grew up, I was born and raised in this city. Almost 50, I'll be, yeah, 59 years in January. And these are the, these are the old lights I took out, old incandescent lights, and I'm putting those in there, those LEDs. You glue this down to the floor to the fiberglass and then you fill up this chamber once this piece is glued to the floor and you set it so it's level so this is level you see, you see how it's got it it's cocked that way well you turn it till it's perfectly level and you glue it there <clears throat> to the hole you got to take the grinder and rough up the fiberglass a little bit and then you have to put a little bit of plumbing antifreeze in there the good stuff that's good to mine is 100 Fahrenheit and uh, then you stick the transducer down inside there and you put the two screws in and you have to check it periodically to make sure that it doesn't go dry because you'll burn the transducer out it always has to have that glycol in there this, I like these voltmeters because you wire them in there and it monitors the amp hours of the battery, the voltage, everything. I use the same one on solar systems because it gives you the percentage of the battery used. It gives you the uh, amps being drawn, watts being drawn if you want, um, however, however you set it up. A lot of this stuff I still had an in inventory and when I had my shop some of it I had to order but we got our coax cable ends here and we got our roll of coax there for the antenna to whoop the mast I think that's out that's the head right here on this boat. And I have this light already wired. I just got to screw it up into place. And the ceiling up there. A little small in here for a six foot guy, six foot two guy. <laughs> This is the panel that was in this boat. I'm getting rid of it. This is like a dog's breakfast. But I gotta cut this hole bigger for the new panel. You just don't know where we're gonna mount the radio yet. Because you want it back here inside, closest to it, but he doesn't want to pin. It doesn't want to penetrate the outside wall here with bolts, even though I use a marine silicone. A 3M5200 fast gear. That's what I'm going to glue that flange down with. You'll never get it off the floor once this is put on there. Above, above and below the water line. I put cleats on bolts with this stuff with no screws. Just put them on, put a weight on top overnight, let it dry, and you'll rip the fiberglass off before you, before the, that 5200, let's go. 
I use the fast cure so that way it sets fast. Okay guys, that's it. Take care. Have a great day. I gotta get back to work here.